Hello everyone out there in internet land, welcome back to another spine tingling 5kg production. My name is Connor and we are back with Prey. It has been a while, oh my word, but we are back in action playing as the ever brave Morgan Yu. Fighting our way through Talos 1, fending off the horde that is the Typhon. And I have no idea what we were doing. <laughs> um, I remember we were doing some side objectives. Uh, we were doing some side objectives. Uh, but I don't know exactly. Oh, that's right. We were going to the guts. So that we could uh, find Josh Dalton. And then we were going to go to deep storage to help Michaela with her dad. Okay, cool. If I remember correctly, we just listened to an audio log describing some pretty nasty shit. Scanning target, no type of material detected. Yep, we've got our, our fortified turret over here. Come here, buddy. Is there something else down here? Not that I can... Ow. See. Whoa! Well. I was wrong. Eradicator auto turret version 0.7.6. Online. There is, in fact, some Typhon. Oh, 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 that's some weird. Okay, well, we got some mimics down here. Why can I not? Okay, this this coral is appearing and disappearing. Uh, I got 12 recycler charges. Fuck them. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh! Hey, buddy! Motherfuckers? Where the fuck did you come from? I don't know what the fuck that noise is. Oh, oh, big mimics. It's just the mimics. They're stuck under the damn stairs. All right, come here. Allow me to free you from your starry prison. So that is one of the things about the game that I forgot. It is... a tiny bit buggy. Uh, I think since we last played, there have been a few updates, like quality control updates. Um, but you know, things happen. Was there... Ooh. I'm sure there's gonna be shit in here now. Cause there's, there's a mimic in there. I forget, was there a fabricator somewhere? No, there's a fabricator down in there. Don't know if I want to go all the way down there, though. Oh, okay, you're a normal operator. God, the coral is so hard to see through! Okay. I remember this area. Because that's where that initial weaver was. Whoa! Okay, that's not okay. Uh, oh. Being real easy. Digging it real slow. Digging it real slow. Digging it real slow. Okay. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, fuck! We're in it now! Forgot about the slow mo. Whoopsie daisy. Ooh. There is something. Oh, is that the nightmare? I think it is. Oh no, it's just a phantom. Oh! 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 Oh my word! Oh lordy! Oh. Oh, hey buddy, let's fix you up. <laughs> oh man, I forgot how much this game actually was like super startly and jump scary. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna keep moving on. We're gonna keep moving on. Oh boy. Bunch of eradicator turrets over here. We're gonna leave our buddy here, because he can't come with us anyway. That takes us to the guts. Let's see if we can find Josh Dalton. Load me up, baby! Alright, what? Hell awaits us in the guts. And then, so is Josh Dalton just in here somewhere? Like I'm gonna undo that. I've already looked through everything. Where are you, Josh? Where are you? I'm really worried that this is just gonna end up... Like in our last episode, where we tried to go out onto the exterior of the space station to try and uh, find something and we found nothing that was fun okay that's just the music jeez louise it sounds like there's something near me like a typhoon I think what we need because I I kind of sort of remember when we were here knock on wood I'm actually gonna knock on wood but nothing has really changed since we were last here okay that's that's nothing It doesn't seem like anything's changed since we were last in here. Which is good. <clears throat> yeah, these are all destroyed because we've taken them out already. There might be a few that we didn't touch that we slipped by still sitting around. But I think what we're going to do is head for the cargo tunnel. Because cargo tunnel. I will say the controls are in intuitive enough that I do feel like I haven't really had to relearn them. So we're going to keep going th for the cargo tunnel. Because there's a direction that we didn't go, and I remember that. Because I thought to myself, huh, I'll need to come back and take a look at that later. And this is that later. 
Oh yeah, here's some stuff. Here's some stuff. Yeah. There's some cystoids we didn't get to. We're gonna slide right on past them. Slide right on past him. Take it real slow. Just sneak right on past him. Oh, what? What saw me? What is it? What sees me? Oh, 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 corrupted operator. Oh no! Ah! Gravity! Damn you, gravity. Oh. There's you. What was that? Y'all saw that, right? That streak of purple? Ooh. Ooh. I bet I know what's up there. There's a technopath up there, ain't there? Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, we know how to fight you now. Yeah, you're not scary anymore. You're not scary anymore because we learned how to fight you. I'll take those materials from you. And... Excuse me, Ramon. Alright, we don't need to go... I remember there was like a terminal we could hack in the magnetosphere. But I don't think I've still gotten enough hacking to open it, so I'm really not worried about it. This is what we want. The cargo tunnel. Gonna bring out the Q-beam, actually. Because this, if you remember correctly, this was where we did not encounter the first weaver. It's where we fought our first weaver, though. Because this was the first time we had, uh, well, the second time I think we had come in contact with the, with the, the coral, the strange orange substance that the weavers create. That is apparently, uh... According to Alex, a our brother, a very essential part of the Typhon ecology. And we didn't go this way. We did not... Oh, I'll let this freight thing pass real quick. Oh, I'm going to restart my slow-mo by accident. Because those are open... Hey, dude. What's up, Mr. Telepath? How you doing, baby? Ah oh, no! I forgot how quickly he could kill me. Oh, that was really bad. Oh, uh, it's going to take me all the way back. It's going to take me all the way back, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, no, no. It, it put me off at the guts. It put me off at the guts, so give me just a minute. I'll, I'll get back to where we were. That's unfortunate. I got really cocky and... Whoa. I got really cocky and did not watch my butt, so give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick it back up here. Hey, guys, we're back. I'm going to really quick snack on a little bit. Get some health back. Reload up. And then... I'm also going to quick save. So that if we die again, we come right back here. Okay, now here's a, here's a little something that looks like I missed last time. There's some... Some goodies back here? Some spare parts? Now those always come in handy. Because if you remember correctly, also... 
I have not taken any points in any of the alien powers. I am pure Morgan Yu. Nothing extra, no artificial flavors needed. <laughs> no artificial flavors added. And because of that, I I have had some people tell me that I am at a, a noticeable disadvantage. But you know what? I'm okay with it. Uh, let's see. How are we going to dick with this guy? Because we got to be real careful. Because uh, the recycler... I think the Recycler still does, like, a big chunk of damage, even if it doesn't kill him. But more importantly, there's an explosive barrel over here that we can use. Hey, engineering operator. There's an explosive barrel right there. Now, it's around... These goddamn nuclear wastes. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Come on, grab it, grab it, Morgan. Grab it. Yep, we're suffering radiation pointing. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. Okay, hold on, we've got the... I've got the cure for that. Okay, cool. So we've got the cure for the sickness. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this thing at that motherfucker. We're going to wait for this uh, cargo loader to come back around because I don't want it to hit me because I have learned that in space if you get hit by something going really fast or if you are moving too fast, you will get hurt. Um, so we're going to let the cargo loader go right on past. Okay. Slip right on past. Then... And then, we're going to switch to the Q-Beam. And we're going to unload on him. We're not in range of his powerful attack. And he dies. And then we're going to heal. Holy shit. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my word. My word. God, those telepaths. They just hit like a truck. Like, that AoE blast, it does massive damage, it can fear you, and it nullifies psychic abilities. So I can't even go into slow-mo when that happens. But, as always, the Q-Beam pulls us through, being a devastating weapon. Although I suppose one could argue that I may have been able to just sneak by him. But where's the fun in that? And also, I believe I still have some upgrade kits. God, they just throw these weapon upgrade kits at you. They really do. Uh, let's upgrade Q beam. Can we upgrade upgrade anything? Not yet. Hey, what's in our What's in our neuromods, though? How many we got? Five? Five neuromods. Were we saving up for anything? Maybe we were. Because, as you can see, I've, I've taken no, no Typhon powers. I'm going pure human abilities. I think I may have been saving up. Was I saving up for some better hacking? I might have been. Metabolic boost, double the duration of the well-fed bonus and the health gained by consuming food. So every time I eat food, that little bit of health, I you gain a little bit of health back from eating food. Uh, and then you get the well-fed condition and you regain like a little bit of health. Like I think you gain like five health from eating food and you regen like four or five. So that would double the bonus you get from eating and from regenerating so let's say it's five a piece so i would get 10 from eating and 10 from region so 20 health per food piece as opposed to 10 so it doubles doubles how much i get or try and save up one more so i can get the lab tech 2 and then i can upgrade my 
uh, non-traditional weapons even further. That's a tough call. Okay. Oh, that's right. There's cystoids down here. Okay. Let's float on over here. Grab this med kit. So that... I'm pretty sure that cargo bay is where we want to go to find Josh Dalton. Because uh, I think I even remember in some of the logs or uh, video, either the audio logs or written logs, somewhere in our course... I'm going to go back and get those explosive barrels. Um, somewhere in our course of setting up this quest, I'm pretty sure the cargo bay has some kind of significance. We're gonna let that go. Sorry, I, I chew my lips when it's cold and I get that dead lip skin. But I'm pretty sure the cargo bay is where we want to go. But it would appear that little section of the cargo tunnel is full of cystoids. So we are going to be creative with our solutions. We are going to have some fun. So let's get to about here. We'll let that go for a moment. Ooh, no pistol ammo. We're playing this with a shotgun. Alrighty. Let's position ourselves. Let's position ourselves. And... Shibushki. There we go. Two shots. And they're all done. Fantastic. That's just the way I like it. And because I am... Ah! Neuromods. That is just what we needed. Let's go ahead and bump up our lab tech. So that we can then go in here. Because I want to upgrade my Q-Beam! Let's upgrade that power. Because this Q-beam is going to carry us through the end along with the Margrave. Because I'm a good Samaritan. Mother fucker. Try to put out some fires and the game's just like, nah man, fuck you. Are you fucking serious? The game actually... The foam cannot fit in between the pipes. My word. Oh, oh my lord. Okay. Then we just won't worry about it. What is that status? I had a, a status that looked like a syringe. That was strange. Alright, anybody else want to mess with us? Ooh. That's a destroyed turret. Do we got another technopath around here somewhere? We've got some cystoid nests. Okay, we got some more cystoids. What's in this freight container? Anything at all that we can make use of? Okay, so we've got a couple of turrets in here. That could come greatly in handy. Let's empty the supply crate. Hey, buddy. Come here. Come on over, Rover. We're coming up on that time. All 
Alright, buddy. Can you work in zero gravity? We're about to find out. Let's do this. Come on, dude. Why do you... Why? 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 Okay, it doesn't matter how I how I turn. It refuses to set on its front face. So the answer is no. I probably can't use it. Here, how about... How about if we turn you this way? Yeah, yeah, we'll turn you this way. Oh, you're not quite close enough, are you? Okay, it's alright. We'll get you just a little closer. Then we'll deploy you. There we go. There we go. There we go, buddy. There we go. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I just had to get you into a comfortable position there, didn't we, buddy? Oh. oh. I love my turret buddies! What is that? Ooh, ooh, that's shooting off electricity. We do not want to fuck with that. I love my turret buddies! They're so good! Why would anyone... Why would anyone want to have alien material inside them and make these guys their enemies? The turrets are so good! Like, the only time the turrets aren't useful is when you are fighting Technopaths. All you gotta do, though, is just drop a fucking, uh, what do you call it, EMP grenade. And that's finished, though. Okay, so... We've got... Maintenance Tunnel, Psychotronics, Arboretum, Cargo Bays... Okay, okay, okay. Shuttle Bay? Oh, we haven't been in here yet. Alright, well then. The search for Josh Dalton continues. Was that another weapon upgrade kit? Did the game... God, it just wants me to have all these. It just wants me to have all the weapon upgrade kits. Let's, uh, increase the firing time. So, I feel like, I think by combining firing time and power, we get a, uh, just a much better Q-beam. Right, the shuttle, but we're in fuel storage. What do we got here? Got a thermal phantom, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cool. But he's a thermal phantom, so that fire probably won't bother him. So what we'll do... We're a little low on Q-beam. We're a little low on everything. But what I think we'll do... Alright, so once I go down there, I can't come back up. So... Very quick save. I've got a few Typhon lures. Hmm... 
Hmm. Because there's no other way down other than falling. Uh, although I could probably jump across that gap with my jump jets, and then I could probably restore power over here. So much stuff to fix. And I've only got five spare parts. Ah, crud. This is gonna suck. What are you doing, buddy? Come on. Come on! Come to mama! If you guys don't remember, I am actually playing a female Morgan Yu. Cause strong, empowered women. She's a strong, independent engineer who don't need no man. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh, how you doing? Get fucked! You know, there are mimics around here too. There was a mimic around here. <laughs> hey, glue cannon, fabrication plane. Oh, hey, wait, whoa, Mr. Fire Guy, where'd your where'd your guts go? Hey. Hey. I don't Hi Brittany. I don't know what that noise is. Whoa! Alright, come here. Here you little bastard. Beat you like you owe me money. Like I hear something walking around. That's really obnoxious. Where did Fireboy's guts go? Here it are. Shit. Okay, so yeah, there's something walking around here. Oh, I may regret doing this. What does that... I fixed the power, though. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, I knew it! I knew it! Yeah, I fucking... I've had one of you little shits become a health pack before. Where are you? Where are you? Uh huh. Now come here, buddy. We got. We got. Fuck off. There's just an operator hanging out outside. Okay, so power was over here. This appears to be a real med kit. Turn on the power. I already fixed this, so it's not going to shoot a bunch of shit at me. Authorized personnel only. Okay, and that's probably the key card I just got. Okay, so we've got a fabricator and a recycler, both without power. I only have enough spare parts to fix one. Because I've got four, and I would need eight. Is there anything in here I can get rid of? These are both worth one spare part, I think. Because I don't use my recyclers very often. And I'm willing to take the hit in order to fix these up. So, there we go. Okay, so I think that's a good stopping point for the day, guys. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where we are. 
Uh, fuel storage. That's where we are. We're in fuel storage. Uh, we're on the hunt for Josh Dalton and just generally kind of exploring before we head towards what could very well be the final moments of the game uh, and our confrontation with our brother Alex. Um, so, uh, because that's right, we didn't talk about it at the beginning of the episode. We're at the point where we're just looking for side quests because Alex has pretty much said, hey, come up to my office, we can finally talk. So, uh, I feel like the end of the game may be in sight and I don't quite want to end it yet. Uh, so hey, it was good getting back into it though, getting our uh, our space legs back on. Also, sorry Brittany. Uh, and yeah, we will pick back up next time. So uh, the hunt for Josh Dalton will continue. So guys, thanks for joining me today. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. If you have something to say or have a comment, throw it down in the comment section right below this video. I love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you really should. We're back on a solid release schedule and we're uploading regularly all of our normal videos. Prey is back. Pyre will hopefully be back soon. And we're going to have a lot more good stuff. But guys, thank you so much for joining me today. You know I always appreciate your time and your viewership. I will see you in the next installment, and like always, have a good one.